All right, everyone, I made a video recently about my biggest guitar pet peeves, and uh, a big one is when the pick drops in the hole of the acoustic guitar and it's hard to get out. You see pictures of even guys like John Lennon trying to shake them out. And that could be kind of a bad thing in certain situations, especially if you're playing live. So a good thing to do is to have a quick fix for it. And you only need a couple things for this to work. We're going to make this quick. And you, if you get it down, you should be able to do it in about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, let's say you're playing and all of a sudden you just drop the pick in. And don't freak out. The best thing you can do is try to keep the pick in the front part of the guitar as much as possible. If it falls in the back area, it could be a little trickier. If that does happen, I need you to be a little extreme and tip the guitar and make the pick fall towards the front because then you have it closer to the hole and there's less real estate for it to get lost in. So let's shake the pick so it's in the front at least. And then there's these little walls inside the guitar that you have to get over. So you might have to shake it a little bit. This is the part that'll take the most time. After this, everything's really easy. So get it over that first wall. And you'd be surprised after a while, you get really good at it. So you already did it. And then you just make sure you have a view of the pick underneath the hole. Once you see it, you're pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna show you a camera angle from my perspective. So you see what I'm seeing? Okay, from my perspective, weird, huh? All right, so if I look down, you can see that the pick is within view now. In the center of the hole pretty much and under the strings we're still not out of the weeds yet but here's the best part all you need to do now is grab a pencil or anything with an eraser at the end this is a mechanical pencil still works now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and i'm going to insert it in the guitar back to this point of view okay so you just put the pencil inside and you just hold the pick against the back of the guitar like that so with the eraser part you're just basically holding the pick in place Okay, all you need to do is take the guitar now with the pencil still holding the pick, flip it over. This could be a little tricky. And then all you need to do is make sure it's level and let gravity do the rest, all right? So I'm just gonna drop the pencil and see what happens. See how they both fell? Okay, now let's do this in real time. And then I'm gonna show you a bonus way to do this without having to use a pencil. So let's say you're playing, you drop the pick in. You're not sure where it went, so you at least bring the pick to the front of the guitar. Then you can see it, then all it's, the, the hard part's just getting it in the right chamber. Now it's there, in the middle. Take the eraser, throw it in, hold it against the back of the guitar, flip the guitar, let them both go, let gravity do the work. There it is, see that time the pencil got stuck. But the pick came out, so we're good. Okay, now let's do the bonus version that I kind of had to figure out out of desperation. So it's kind of the same concept, okay? So you drop the pick in, you get it in the middle chamber, and this time you want to get it pretty much in the middle, as much as possible, all right? Now, I've perfected this swivel. So I swivel the guitar in a way that keeps the guitar, keeps the pick on the back. If you ever went in like a tilt-a-whirl and you feel it's spinning and you're glued to the, you know, the back of the, the ride as it's spinning, you need to make that happen for the pick. So what I do is I spin it around in a way that keeps the pick pushing in the back until I'm completely upside down. Ready? See that? So it it's a bit of a feel thing. Okay, so I showed you the one that didn't need a pencil second because that one might take some practice to build up to be able to do that that fast. But you can always do the pencil one or if you want to, you can go back to the classic. This thing that can take a long time and it's not guaranteed to work. It's very frustrating. So I recommend one of the first two. All right, guys, hopefully that helps somebody and I'll catch you at the next lesson. Thanks, bye.